What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have a compensator for the PSA dagger that we're going to talk about. It is made by Harrington Arms, and if you hear anybody snoring in the background, I have two dogs <laughs> at my feet snoring, but... What are you going to do? The model number of the compensator is HCDG. We're going to start off with the most important thing. Does this thing eat up felt recoil? When you put this on your gun, does it make a difference? And I'm going to say yes, it makes a very big difference. So I put this on, I went to the range, I shot it, and I was like, it's good. Yeah, it ate up some recoil. It was good. I was like, yeah, worth the 90 bucks. Cool. And I grabbed a very similar size gun, Lone Wolf Dust 19. I'm pointing over there because it's on the wall right there. I grabbed that gun, shot it, and went, let me get that dagger again. Shot the dagger, shot the lone wolf, shot a Glock 17, couple other guns and went, wow, it makes a really big difference. I didn't realize it at first till I compared the guns. But once I compare them, it makes a very, very big difference in the felt recoil that the shooter feels when you're shooting this gun. We're gonna talk a little more about that during the testing portion of the video, but yes, it does make a very big difference. So Harrington Arms, if you don't want a comp for a dagger, they also have them for Hellcat, Sig, CZ, Glock, Smith & Wesson, several models, you can check the website. Uh, it's made from 6061 aluminum, and you guys get so mad when I say aluminum instead of aluminum, it's a joke. The black one has a uh, uh, anodized finish, the FDE comp to match the FDE dagger is a Cerakote finish. Um, you do need a threaded barrel. It's a half by 28 threaded barrel. We're gonna talk about compatibility and install in just a second. Before we do that, I need to thank the sponsor of the video. The sponsor is Mission First Tactical. If you live under a rock and you don't know, Mission First Tactical makes a bunch of pistol holsters, which I've reviewed recently. They make a bunch of backpacks, which I reviewed recently. And a long, long time ago, I reviewed their magazines and their stock, and they make a bunch of different accessories for rifles and carbines and pistols pistols and all that good stuff. Discount code is TG20. If you want to pick anything up for Mission Fresh Tactical, the code is TG20, saves you 20%. And you're going to think I'm crazy, but my favorite thing from the website is their water bottle. I've use this water bottle a ton i do drink a lot of water i drink four or five of these a day and this thing holds ice significantly better than any other branded water bottle i have yeti whatever all right compatibility there's several guns it doesn't work with if you have the micro dagger or when the micro dagger comes out i don't know if it's even available yet the psa rock stuff like that it doesn't work with there's also been two different design psa dagger slides I'll pull up the photo so you can see it. The photo's on the Harrington Arms website. If you want to check it out, there's been two different design slides. You need to make sure you have the right one and then you're good to go. Installing this is very, very easy. It's absolutely idiot proof. Take the O-ring off the barrel. Don't be an idiot like I did and don't take it off. You thread the comp all the way on. Once it's threaded all the way on, you back the comp off so that the uh, little wings on the compensator match up with the slide. And if you do it right, and then you look close here, it is a very, very snug fit it fits absolutely snug so once you have the wings lined up in the front of the slide tighten down those two screws on the side make sure you lose locked use loctite if you don't lose loctite i can't speak you're gonna lose those screws and you're gonna call harrington arms and they're gonna make fun of you for losing the screws and not listening to me a little bit of loctite tighten down the screws and again if you look at the slide it is a very very tight fit it's clean it looks good it looks like factory original excuse me which is a great deal for ninety dollars now these things are hard to get they're out of stock all of the time but when they're in stock they go out of stock quickly but for 90 bucks it's a great deal it's one and a half inches long it's super lightweight and i found this code p-s-a-w-t on the Harrington Arms website for this dagger comp. I have no connection to it. I don't get a kickback. I don't know how much of a discount it gives you, but PSAWT, I found the code. If it saves you money, you can come back and thank me. And if I ever meet you, you can give me a high five. And uh, let's talk about testing. So I have 300 rounds through this dagger with the compensator attached. And uh, the first two magazines had two failure to feeds. Now I don't blame that on the compensator. If you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments. It was a brand new barrel. Compensators may sometimes have problems with failures to eject because they eat up too much uh, of, that, of that felt recoil. Uh, but very rarely for a bullet to feed in. It got stuck, it, the bullet got stuck on the feeding ramps is what was happening. So being it was a brand new barrel that PSA just sent me, I'm gonna chalk it, off to, chalk it up to the barrel, it needed to be broken in, and once it got some rounds through it, it was good to go. So again, first two magazines, I had 
um, one round each magazine that wouldn't feed. Then after that, it was flawless, no issues, no problems, no whatever. Most of the shooting we did was just plinking at the range and, and messing around. We did lots of drawing from the holster. We did lots of magazine exchanges. And uh, of course, we did a lot of hitting steel because I'm a child and I like the sound of bullets hitting steel. And uh, why not? One of the things I want to compare this to is going to be a Glock 17. It is definitely shorter than a Glock 17. So if you have a closed Glock 17 holster, whether that be an inside the waistband or a duty one, if it's closed on the bottom, it's not going to work for you. This dagger with the comp is a little bit longer. The, the holster I have here that I'll roll in some close-up footage for you is an A&R design holster with an open bottom. So this particular holster will work with like a Glock 34, 17L, Glock 17, 19, any of the above. So something like that will work no problem, but a closed bottom holster for a Glock 19 or 17 will probably not work for you. All right. Before I tell you the pros and cons, I want to take a quick break and I want to roll in some slow motion footage from the range. I actually haven't shot this yet, to be honest, so we're both going to be surprised. But I want to shoot a couple different grain bullets and, and compare the muzzle rise. And then I also want to compare this, more importantly, this comp gun to a very similar non-comp gun and we can judge the muzzle rise and I'll try to do my best to make it as even and uh, hold the gun the same and make it even as possible. You watch the footage, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and I'll be right back in a second. And stuff getting old, you gotta pee often. I pee like 10 times a day because I drink five Mission Fresh Tactical water bottles a day. What did you think of the footage? I haven't even recorded or seen it yet, but based on the, the 300 plus rounds I shot through the gun, the, the felt recoils a lot less, so I'm going to assume the muzzle rise is a lot less than a non comp gun, and I feel like I can shoot it a lot faster, but the slow motion will tell us for sure. All right, pros. I think it looks good. I think it looks great on this PSA dagger. I think it could, you could assume that is a factory thing, something Palmetto State Omri did themselves. But now I need to continue to, to customize this gun. I gotta get a trigger, I gotta get a magazine release, we gotta get it Cerakoted, and we gotta Gucci this gun out because I just, I gotta do it. Uh, what are my other pros? It eats up a lot of felt recoil. It shoots really nice. It does make a significant difference. I know I've said that a few times, but I really wanna hammer that point home. It's made in the United States. Actually, it's made in Ohio, the same as Neomag, which is great. My second favorite state. And uh, it looks really, not only does it look good on the gun, it looks really good with the full size light. If you care, the X300 looks good. The TLR1HL looks extremely good because it's a little bit of a shorter light. That light looks great on this gun with that comp. Cons, I don't have any cons. What can you complain about for something affordable, made in the States, that looks good, works well? How can we complain? I do have one thing though, lock tight your screws. Again, I know I've said this two or three times, I'm gonna say it again. Anybody who calls Harrington Arm say, I lost my screws because I didn't use Loctite, they will make fun of you. I told them they have to and uh, they'll tease you and they'll still send you screws after they tease you. All right, let me think. Palmetto State Armory, just so you know, they did send this threaded barrel out so I could do the test. It was nice of them, and I want to thank them for that. I want to thank Harrington Arms for sending me the compensator. Very nice of them. I want to thank the sponsor of the video, Mission Fresh Tactical, for giving us all this cool guy stuff like their water bottles. Code is TG20 if you want to save 20%. What else? Start a second YouTube channel because I'm crazy. It's all about wheeled things, e-bikes, cars, trucks, my Bronco. Link is down in the video description if you want to check that out. We have swag. It's the softest, sexiest, nicest swag in the game. The link, of course, is down below. Most important, if you think I deserve it, and I think I deserve it, please like, comment. It's free, easy, takes two seconds. Comment whatever you want. Just comment something like. More important than that, subscribe to the channel. YouTube is all about the subscriptions. I need them. I want them. I deserve them. Go ahead and subscribe and enable the bell notification, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.